Welcome to IDB, everybody. Andrew here with iOS 11.3. This is the first developer beta, and there were already so, so many features, little tweaks, nuances, and stuff to cover that is included in this release. We are going to break it all down for you, going over all of the new features in iOS 11.3, starting off with the health app. Now in health, there is a new health record section that is launching in beta, and it'll partner with working hospitals that will automatically sync your data, your health records, your test results right here into the health app without you having to do anything. Here in good old Columbus, we have Ohio Health partnering and they're using my chart from Epic Systems and all that data, once you sign in and authenticate, will automatically be written right here to your phone. So you can find all of your test results, all of your health data here directly from your hospital, your medical professionals without having to go to any external systems iMessage is getting a little bit better today with messages on iCloud. Something that has been promised for a long time has now arrived in this initial beta. It was there before, removed, and now it is here in iOS 11.3. Save space on your phone by offloading everything over to iCloud. Make sure they're all backed up so whenever you switch to a new phone, all of your stuff is there. And when you delete them on one device, they're deleted on all devices. Also new in messages is business chat. Now you'll be able to talk directly to, say, a salesperson or customer representative through any business that supports it. So you can talk to them, make purchases, whatever you need to do, all through messages, and at any time, leave the conversation. Whole lot better than doing it through a web browser. If you love Animoji, you're going to like it even more now. With four new Animojis coming, bring the total number to 16. There's a skull, a bear, a dragon, and a lion all ready to mirror your facial expressions to your friends in either a short little video clip or as a sticker. Apple also previewed a new privacy icon that'll let you know whenever it is asking for any sensitive information. This is an attempt to prevent phishing scams. So if you have a fake alert come up that is asking you for your information, unless you see that icon most likely in the top of your phone, you know that it's not real and should be a little bit hesitant before giving any of your information away. There is also a new privacy icon inside of the settings app. Scroll down to privacy and the icon is now blue with a white hand on it. There's also now support for AML or advanced mobile location. This will send your current location, a very exact location, whenever you make a call to emergency services. Of course, it only works in countries where this is supported. Now, while not in this beta, in an upcoming beta of iOS 11.3, there will be new information available for your battery. One, you'll be able to view your battery status and if it's been degraded or not, and you'll also be able to dis disable the performance smoothing, which is what many people were worried about of reducing performance in order to maintain their battery life. Those will be coming in an upcoming beta to iOS 11.3. In the news app, there will be a new video group in the For You section and significant improvements to the top stories. I use the news app quite a bit and I'm really excited to see both of those new improvements, much better top stories, and a special section with just videos so you can go through and preview a lot of the different news content. Inside of the music app, Apple Music will soon be home to music videos where you can watch all without commercials, whether it's old ones or new ones. That's going to be really great. There will be even playlists of great music videos for you to go through, just like there are already curated playlists for music available. For HomeKit users, Apple previously announced with iOS 11 that they'd be able to update their products retroactively to support HomeKit through a firmware update that has not been released until now, so now there is software authentication available for HomeKit products. Apple TV updated to TVS 11.3 will now show up in the Home app in whatever room you have them placed, and it'll also bring support for AirPlay 2. So anywhere that you can AirPlay, you'll now be able to stream to any AirPlay 2 device, whether it is a third-party speaker or an Apple TV updated to TVOS 11.3. You can actually do multi rooms now, so one, two, five, whatever it may be. You can see them all, control them all, all stream from the same source. It is pretty, pretty awesome. If you have not seen our standalone video on AirPlay 2, definitely check that out. We go through it on the iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV, how it all works together. It's a really cool thing to see. iBooks has now been renamed as just Books. No longer is the I present there. The feedback app is back once again since we're going into a new beta period for a bigger beta. 
the app switching on the iPhone 10, it requires less movement than it did before, so it's a lot quicker to get into the multitasker, which is much appreciated. If you were in the app store, there are two little changes. First, on the updates page, you'll see new information, including the app version number and the size, so you can kind of know if you can download it over cellular, if you have to jump onto the Wi-Fi, and it'll now support text size. If you've chosen the text size instead of the settings app, it'll be updated in the actual app store now. AR kit has been updated to version 1.5. It is now more accurate when it's mapping irregularly shaped surfaces like round tables, and it's 50% greater resolution. It also supports autofocus through the camera and works for vertical surfaces and not just horizontal ones. There are many other smaller changes, including support for new USB accessory security requiring passcodes, and many bug fixes and performance improvements. We are just getting into this beta phase, so hopefully we'll see even more changes as we get closer to release iOS 11.3 as well as TVS 11.3 is expected to be released this spring. So what's your favorite new features coming to iOS 11.3? New Animoji, AirPlay 2, iMessages in the Cloud? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Also give this video a thumbs up, check out all of our other iOS 11 coverage, subscribe, and until next time this is Andrew for IDB.